everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with the, uh, with another reading which is going to be for whoever needs it. So this reading is basically going to be a general read for or a collective read for everyone out there where we're going to see what's going to come up for you in the next, uh, you know, one week time to two weeks time. So yeah, it's uh, definitely it is going to be something related to your love life because I only do love reads. So yeah, let's see what can you expect coming up for you in your love life in the coming one to two weeks time. Um, so yeah, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So let's dive into the read, let's find out what can you expect for the coming two weeks time in your love life. Let's begin. Knight of Cups, a person is definitely coming forward with an expression of feelings, love, emotions that they have for you. Uh, if you are with a specific someone already and if they haven't expressed their feelings and emotions towards you, they are going to sp kind of uh, start speaking up about it. Uh, they might start showing with the romantic gestures as well that yes, they are having feelings and love and emotion and attachment with you. So you will see some sort of love coming your way in this week uh, in the uh, in the coming week to next week, like you know, in the coming two weeks time. So um, I do see that you know you you will be on the receiving end of some sort of uh, positive uh, vibe entering in your love life for sure coming from a specific someone it can be a new person if you are completely single and it can be a past person it can be a current person as well let's take more cards seven of pentacles two of cups it can be very well a person who you have given up on uh, a person from the past a person uh, maybe even it's a current person that you are trying to detach from it can be that person as well but this person is going to come forward opening up uh, about their emotions uh, attached to you uh, whatever it is that has been kind of, you know, pulling them away from you or keeping them away from you, they might open up about that as well. So it doesn't have to be like, you know, they are going to express their love for you. It can be just that, you know, them giving you uh, kind of uh, an insight around what has been happening in their life, which has basically kept them away from you. Uh, so I feel like, you know, it's a person that you have given up your hopes around. It's a person who you have kind of... Uh, decided not to think much about um even though you have you might have had love for this person but i feel like you know you kind of gave up because things were not changing uh the way you wanted the person was not um maybe showing their love and trust was not investing in the connection mutually so you i feel like you know, for some reasons you definitely kind of gave up on this connection thinking that maybe it's never gonna work and that's the same person which is coming forward for majority of you um, the person that you were waiting for. So that person is coming in your life. Um, this person is somebody that you love. And this person has love for you as well. I feel like you know you have expressed their, your love to this person a million times but then things didn't work out you chose to basically leave this person behind and that um, that is going to basically bring this person to the point where they are going to stop seeing you from a different angle uh, and that's going to be the time when this person is going to come uh, towards you now for some of you I feel like you know this person might reach out to you as if nothing happened between the two of you uh, nothing wrong happened between the two of you as if everything is perfectly fine it's just like you know they they just call you up message you up saying as if nothing changed or nothing happened um, they would act as if you know they uh, they they don't know what happened back then and it's it's gonna be like you know as if uh, you have always been in touch so it can be that for some of you as well where this person is gonna approach you talk to you message you and uh, act as if everything is perfectly normal between the two of you. Nothing changed, nothing happened bad. Um, you will be very happy when you have this person. Uh, I need to you do have the Three of Cups. I feel like you know this person would be coming in. Uh, you do have lots of love for this person. 
um, I would suggest you to do one thing when this person reaches out to you don't get so overwhelmed with them reaching out to you why because you have so much love for this person this person is somebody who has feelings for you but they are not opening up about it like not even you know I feel like you know even when they reach out to you they would not be expressed um, but yes because maybe you are expecting some uh, something uh, more than what you uh, will be getting from this person so it, it will just uh, you know um, it will just kind of uh, um, lower your excitement plus it's gonna make you feel bad as well so I would suggest you to just just uh, go with the flow with this person don't have high expectations let's see where it goes but yes I feel like you know this person will be definitely reaching out to you this person is coming back to you um, let me see your energies in the coming two weeks time I feel like you know you would be feeling positive thinking that you have fought the uh, inner demons around your situation in your love life where you might have had a very much like attachment kind of a thing for this person where you might have been very obsessed with this person and you finally kind of overcame that um, you would be very positive about your love life but I don't think that you would be positive about this person or the situation because I do see that you have kind of given up you feel like you know maybe it's never gonna work um, maybe there is still a little bit of hope left but then you are kind of you know keeping yourself positive thinking that um something good will happen in your love life you deserve something better so it's more of that energy that you will be in uh let's take some cards for your person's energy they will be watching you from a distance they will be hoping to have a stable connection with you um like you know your person is somebody who's uh, who's who finds it very hard to maintain a maintain a healthy balance in their life like you know they they do whatever they do they do it with the hundred percent dedication to just that only like you know, if they are with their family they are with their family and they don't care about anything else when they are with you like as in a meeting they are with you like 100% into you and then when they are with their work scenario they are 100% there so they find it very hard to keep their mind uh, you know on right track which is why they shut off all the other things when they are doing one thing so that's the reason why you suffer in this connection is what I'm picking up because most of the time obviously since this person has to work this person has to you know has other things in their life going on as well so most of the time you feel like ignored because every time you know they, they just focus on one thing at a time so they don't get into multitasking that way where they they let you know this working to that working to that working to they find it very distractive for themselves and that could be the reason why this person has been like uh, uh always been like on and off you would feel like you know what happened to this person this person completely changed like anything and that's the reason why this connection has been having you know some uh, hardships in it um some road bumps into it and i feel like you know it's um um seems like your person is going to be coming forward to maybe make amends let's see what do they have to offer now when they come six of wands two of swords look this person will not change is what I'm picking up so if you are in a relationship with this person this person is gonna be the same if you uh, if you get married to this person if you start living in uh, you know with this person I feel like you know then only you will have a change situation in this connection otherwise I don't think that this person will ever change because their their uh, obsession their passion for work 
their passion for what they do for living is far more uh, than anything else so they will be doing that all the time so if the only re the only way to change this situation to change the connections energy leading towards uh, something uh, stable something desirable will come in if if you either start living in together or if you if you uh, get married because otherwise i don't see this person changing that way uh, they will always have those uh, you know days when they will kind of you know shut you off uh, from their life and uh, they will be doing their stuff so i don't see any major shift will happen it's it's just that maybe they are going to let you know that this is what it is maybe they will express you the same situation that this is how I work and that's why you feel ignored because I, I get too caught up in the in the work scenario and stuff like that. So nothing else will change. You will have to basically accept this person the way they are. So that's the only way to deal with the situation or if not then getting married, getting in a relationship, a living relationship will help this connection to move forward. Otherwise, if you if you demand a person who, who can bring you what you desire, who can be with you 24-7 or who could be you know available to call to text to 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 be around you i feel like you know this person is not the right one for you the right choice for you um but yes that's that person is definitely coming back so maybe you can you can clear your perspective around it what do you want what do you seek in in this connection if this person and you agree maybe you could have a future together if not then maybe it's high time that you end this connection and move on uh cutting complete uh, ties with each other so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this reading. If the reading resonated with you, do like, subscribe, and share. If you're willing to get a personal read, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye.